Hey guys, welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to set up a BitTorrent client for Open Media Vault. This can help you if you're running a Plex server and you don't want to keep transferring files to your server from your PC. You can have your server download them instead and put them in a specific folder. The first thing you have to do is open up a web browser, type in your server's local IP address. Now we enter the login information and if you haven't changed it, the default username is admin and the password is Open Media Vault, all lowercase. Okay, now that we're in the OMV control panel, we're going to navigate to the plugins tab on the left. Type in OMV extras in the search bar and press enter. We're gonna click on the check or just click on it anywhere and then hit install and it'll probably ask you to verify, hit yes and it should install this plugin. Once the OMV Extras plugin is installed, you're going to notice a new tab called omvextras.org. We're going to click on it and it should give us this page here with all the toggle switches. We're going to switch on the first toggle for the main package repository and then also switch on the download managers under downloaders section. Hit save and then hit apply. Okay, next we go back into plugins and search for transmission. Check the little box or just click on it and hit install, confirm. Okay, for the BitTorrent client to work, we're going to need to create two shared folders. On the left, under access rights management, Click on shared folders, press add, and give a name to this shared folder. I'm going to be using example. Select the volume, which is uh, basically the partition on your hard drive. And this will give you a default path. It will basically make it if it's not uh, created. If you already have a downloads file or, uh, or folder, you just find it in the directory on your hard drive by clicking this little folder. Hit save. And now we're gonna make one more. I'll name this downloads. We're gonna select the same volume. And in the path, I'm actually going to be using example. So basically this is going to make a downloads folder inside of the examples folder that we just made. Hit save. And now an easy way to do uh, permissions. What we're going to do is hit ACL under example. Make sure example is selected. Um, we're going to go down to uh, this, these will probably not be uh, selected, switched on. So switch them on. Make sure um, read and write is switched on, okay? Now replace all existing permissions and apply permissions to files and subfolders. Hit apply. And then close. That should give transmission aka BitTorrent uh, it'll give a permission to uh, save well write files to the to these folders right here now to continue the BitTorrent setup click on BitTorrent on the left tab under services folder we're gonna go to files and locations we're gonna hit we're gonna select example and in the directory we're gonna type in downloads hit save and then hit apply now we go back to the settings tab 
Switch the toggle on enable to on. Hit save. Apply. Yes. And now BitTorrent should be enabled. Now to show you uh, an example, I'll go to Torrents. To add a torrent, basically you switch from the settings tab to the torrent. Um, hit add. And from here you can uh, paste a magnet link. Or you can upload a torrent file. So here's an example. Here there's a in Guantanamo uh, documentary video. I right click, copy link address. Go to add paste the URL, hit OK. Okay, as you can see, it finally started downloading and um, it's going very slowly, but yeah. This is a, basically a simple way of adding a torrent and just having it download straight on your server instead of transferring files over through uh, Ethernet and just completely uh, eliminating like you, your PC as a middleman of getting a torrent onto your server. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for new videos. Comment any questions that you might have or anything else you might want explained. And if you had issues, I'll try to help you guys as much as I can. But obviously I'm not a professional in this. I just have a lot of free time and I really like to uh, use my Plex server and mess around with open media wall in general. Uh, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for no, uh, newer content. Bye-bye.